Hello, and welcome to Music Library 101, the Rome edition. My name is Sylvia Yang, and I'm a music librarian. This video is going to teach you the ins and outs of using Realm. But first, let's talk about proxy servers. Proxy servers act as an intermediary server between service providers and users. That's between the library and you. Make sure to access databases through the Music Library website so that you're accessing a proxy database. You should be prompted to log in using your eServices username and password. Now on to Realm. Realm, which stands for Repertoire International de Literature Musicale, is a comprehensive international bibliography of writings on music, covering publications from the early 19th century to the present. Realm is a database of abstracts. Abstracts are a summary of content, and you'll find abstracts for books, articles, presentations, and more on Realm. Abstracts are useful because you can use them in determining the value of a source to your work without reading the full text. Why read the full text when you can read an abstract? We receive access to Realm through EBSCO, which means that it does not have a unique database page. Ensure you're searching Realm by checking the database selection above the search bar. Searching Realm is just like searching any other database. Use keywords and subjects to receive results. It's super important to refine your results with the filters. Because Realm is an international index, Many languages are included, and even if you use the language filter, you may need to wade through some German abstracts before finding one in English. Many abstracts link to full text articles in Realm. If you don't see the option for full text, click the Find It button. You might find the resource in our online holdings, or you can make an interlibrary loan request, also known as ILL. It's super easy to cite sources from Realm. The item page provides you with all of the material you need. If you're having a difficult time identifying content for a citation, you can click on the Cite button. But be super careful with automatically generated citations. They're usually mistakes, especially when working with music materials. You can see in this example that the date is wrong in the generated citation. Check any citation with the examples provided on the Music Citation Guide linked below to ensure proper formatting. Now you're ready to explore Realm. Thanks for watching. 